I stained it. My mother is gonna kill me. You know how like the the the, the vintage movie stars and the, the cars with the the flapping behind them and while they're driving in the convertible in the 1950s movies, you know that kind of thing. Also, buy this crochet blanket. Uh, their name is the Buttercup Witch on Etsy. They are hand crocheted out of very, very soft material, and I've been just basically been sitting in bed all week with this. So, I'm gonna provide their link down below. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would teach you how to make, I don't know if it's called an ascot or if it's like a, a neck, a necktie. Like, like, you know, like uh, the thing that flight attendants wear, the silk scarf, you know. Anyway, so I have all these silk scarves from my Nana. She used to wear these all the time, and I just wanted to show you how you can wear them. They're super duper cute. So they come in these little squares, 100% silk, and I'm going to teach you how to put it on two ways. Uh, one that's considered professional and one that's considered casual. Although, to be fair, I don't see the difference. So first you're going to fold it kind of like a bandana so that it um, looks like this. Except now what you're going to do is you're going to roll it so that you fold this. Kind of do this without doing different camera angles. You're not really rolling, you're more folding it up so that it becomes this. Um, and you're just gonna wrap it around your neck like so. And then you're kind of, you're gonna put two fingers here and you're gonna wrap the string around your finger. And then you're gonna put it through like a knot, except keep your fingers in there because we don't want the knot to close. And then, scoot closer. And then, I'm gonna take this, we're gonna, first we're gonna do the casual way. And you're gonna put this part through the knot like this. Pull here to tighten the knot, and then pull here to adjust the length. So this is considered the casual way. And I like, I like wearing it personally on the side. I like it with certain outfits. Call me weird or old fashioned. Not with this outfit, but I do like it. And then I'm gonna do the knot again just to show you. So again, it's the same folding process. I'm just gonna refold it again because it got a little messed up. So you're gonna wrap it around your neck. You're gonna do the same two fingers, grab it around here, and then put this through there like a knot, and tighten it somewhat so you still have two fingers here. And then the professional way, quote unquote professional, is you put it the way, other way, so the way that this one's sticking out. Then you pull this to tighten, and that there. And it doesn't look that much different. The other way is kind of more like that, um, but this one, I like this one too. And it's easy, you can adjust, you can pull to tighten. And then just take it off by pulling it out and undoing the knot because doing them on silk can wrinkle it. And then when you're done, I just fold it into a square. So I'm gonna grab another scarf, probably a prettier one because this one's kind of ugly. Um, don't tell my Nana I said that. And so I have a couple of them. Be right back. So this one is my favorite scarf. I wore this the most. It's from Philippe Monet. Never heard of it, but again, these are all my, my Nanas that she wore in the 50s and the 60s and the 40s and the 30s and whenever she was young. So I'm gonna fold it, but I'm gonna fold it because I don't really wanna see the label when I wear it. So I'm folding that part. This one's a bit longer and it's much lighter, so I like it in the summer. Got my two fingers, pull the side through, keep my fingers there. Let's do the fancy one. And pull to tighten, pull to adjust. Hold on, the knot's loose. Pull to adjust. Wait, the knot is still... There we go. Ta-da! And that's how you tie a neck silk. Ascot thing. I know that video is kind of confusing. If you have any more questions, I can do a much better crafted video. So comment down below if you want more like this. Um, I have a lot of vintage stuff that I'd love to show you all. So if you ever want a vintage 
fashion show, just comment below. I'm a big fan of big fan of vintage. So yeah, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next week. Mwah.